iced pumpkin latte. Yum. And it smells just like a spiced pumpkin latte. <laughs> so yeah, this is day four's candle. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. So, today is Monday, and PJ and I are getting ready to walk to Whole Foods to pick up a few things. So, I got him a new car seat cover, and I got to figure out how to put it on. So, let me show you guys. So, here it is. It's called a foot muff and it's for his car seat unlike the one that he has on it now which is the 7 a.m which i also really like this one is like lined all the way through the inside um so technically he doesn't have to wear like a big snowsuit while he's in it because it's kind of like a built-in snowsuit for your baby when it comes to car seats and infants and children in general, um, they recommend that you do not put your baby in a car seat wearing a coat or a snowsuit um, just because the car seat doesn't properly fit them with the extra padding. So you always want to have your baby in a car seat without any like thick coats and snowsuits on just so that car seat can um, fit them properly. So yeah, if you're a mom, you already know this stuff. But So that was the main reason behind getting this. Um, obviously he does have snowsuits and he wears them, but I tend to use those more when I'm wearing him, like in the baby wearer and we're walking around. When he's in his car seat, I just want him to have something um, warm and cozy, but safe at the same time. So I had this delivered here. And so I'm gonna try to figure out how to put this thing on before we head out. Hopefully it's pretty simple and easy so we can get out of here because we got a few places to go. I want to go, um, I want to go to Whole Foods. I want to stop in Target. I need to go and get coffee. Um, I didn't make coffee this morning just because, you know, I want to mix it up for Vlogmas. You guys know I like doing my coffee pours every morning, but I want to just mix it up a little bit for you guys. So we're going to go to Starbucks instead of doing our morning coffee brew but don't worry they'll be back um i also need to find me like a festive mug while we're here we'll, we'll try to find a cute little festive mug as well and yeah so that's pretty much it right now i just switched into my pochette mati because like i said we're going to be out and about for quite a bit today and i just wanted to make sure that I have everything that I need. So yeah, let's get this stroller situated. All right guys, so we're back from the store now and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Whole Foods and a couple things I got from Target. Hear the background noise, I'm FaceTiming Sefton. I'm vlogging. You are? Mm -hmm. He was checking in on his brother's elf to see where he was. He's just hanging out on the microwave. Okay, I'll call you back, okay? Love you. Love you too. Later. All right, so in this bag, we got some iced coffee, some apples, because I'm gonna be making uh, apple crumble either later today or tomorrow, but whenever I make it, I'll share it with you guys. I got some all-purpose flour because you need that for the apple crumble. I got this little kale Caesar um, little chopped salad kit. They didn't have the one that I usually get, um, but this will do. I'm gonna have this for lunch actually. I got some yogurt, got two vanilla and one peach. 
mangoes. I got some uh, Kerrygold unsalted butter because you need this for the apple crumble. Um, I got two, but I think I'm only gonna need one of these, but we can just keep it in the freezer. I got some granola for my yogurt because I like to have that for breakfast in the morning. Got some old fashioned oats for the apple crumble. Got some lesser evil popcorn. Um, I got the little individual bags this time just for portion control because I will literally sit and eat the whole bag. So I need portion control. So I got this a little snack. I picked up some of these organic rice cakes. The apple pie is so good. Like, I can eat this whole bag too in one sitting, but I try not to. Uh, I mean, they're not terrible. For 13, it's 140 calories. But y'all, they are so, so good. I got some more of the oat based whipping topping for the apple crumble. You can do ice cream too, but this is a healthier option. Sugar. light brown sugar and cinnamon that's everything that i picked up from whole foods so i'm gonna put this away and then i'll show you the um couple things that i got from target all right so from target I went in specifically to find a little festive mug that I can have while I'm here. And so, they didn't have many, but I got this one. And inside it says warm and cozy. So I thought that was cute, very festive. And then um, I remember seeing that lego and target were doing like a collaboration so i saw that they had like a very small section at the target that i went to of like lego stuff so i got two little tumblers for session so i got him this yellow one and i got him a red one and you can kind of just like stack them like that. And they have like this like rubber protector around them, um, but the glass, but it is ceramic. But I thought those were so neat and you can just stack them like that. So I got those for Sefton. Those were the only items that I picked up while I was at Target. Um, so now I am getting ready to feed so now I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. I'm going to feed PJ here shortly and we may or may not go back out. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So if I do decide to make that uh, apple crumble tonight, um, I'll share it with you all. So yeah, I'm going to go. I'm actually going to snack on these. So yeah, I'm gonna snack on these little rice cakes, finish my coffee. Um, I got the sugar cookie almond latte with oat milk and it's really good. I've, I usually get the iced one, but I wanted to try the hot. Um, one of you recommended that I try the hot, so I did and it's really yummy, so thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna snack probably catch up on some vlogmas catch up on some of my faves and i'll check back in with you guys in a little bit all right
All right, everyone. So I figured while the baby is napping, I would come on and make my apple crumble for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the ingredients out and then start prepping. So um, I'll just let you guys watch me. All right guys, so I am now getting ready to cut up the apples. Um, I just preheated the oven uh, to 350. So I'm gonna do same thing I did with the last apples, um, slice them, but then I'm gonna cut these into like um, chunks for this recipe. And I'm using eight apples. So you can use between six and eight apples just depending on serving size. I'm gonna go ahead and get these sliced up and get the rest of the ingredients mixed up. All right, so now that my apples are sliced, I am going to go ahead and grease the pan with some butter. All right, now I'm going to add cinnamon and sugar to the apples, two tablespoons of sugar. All right, and so now that we have the cinnamon and sugar mixed with the apples, you just wanna transfer that to the baking dish, like so. So it should look like that. All right, so now we're going to mix the crumble portion of the recipes. All right, so we're gonna do one cup of brown sugar. Whoop. All right, now we're gonna do one fourth cup of oats. And the recipe calls for old fashioned oats. One fourth cup of all purpose flour. Spoon of cinnamon. All right, so I got the flour, oats, cinnamon, brown sugar, and sugar in the bowl. Now we're gonna add half a cup of cold butter, unsalted, and into blocks. So I'm gonna cut this up inside of here. Mike, here. 
Okay. So there's the butter inside. Now we're gonna mix it. All right, everyone. So that is going to do it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.